Nintendo dudes are hot and we have an update on the PlayStation 5 event. So much news in one epic video. Let's talk about it. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? All right. <coughs> if it wasn't 2020, we would have been hyped right now. We would have been like, "Oh, that PlayStation 5 event was lit, bro. They're bringing back all these dope games, bro. The console design is lit, bro." But it's 2020 and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Because of the recent events concerning George Floyd, the PlayStation event was postponed, which should have been yesterday. I was so hyped for it, but there are more important things than video games. So respect to Sony for uh, delaying their conference. Now, the question many fans have is, when, Sony? <coughs> when will you reschedule so that we can see the epicness what you got to offer i'm telling y'all man i'm trying to stay as neutral as possible between the playstation 5 xbox series x i want to see which console will impress me the most with the games this summer i want to see them games bruh um and so this is from forbes this is from forbes um and sony has updated their statement and i quote this event has been postponed, and we know that, and it says we'll be in touch with a new date soon. And so they're going to be giving us a new date, and the best word I can have to describe when will we get, we get the uh, PlayStation 5 event is, and I quote, soon. This article is saying it shouldn't be any more than two weeks. And so that's what I said originally, uh, maybe within the next two week period, definitely within the next two week period, we're going to get some kind of date and possibly get the event uh, i think we're still going to get an event in june because sony has been quiet their quietness is deafening all right next news item we have a couple more news item bro a dope one of my favorite games is being remastered we're going to get to that soon but first <coughs> not this game this game has not been remastered it's been seriously downgraded for the nintendo switch and Nintendo fans are raging, bro. The fire and brimstone is coming out for Outer Worlds, bro. The performance for this game on the Switch is horrible. The textures are garbage. Um, Digital Foundry did an analysis of the game. The text the game textures are horrible. The game has dynamic scaling, runs sub HD, bro. You in 2020. My expectations are 4K60 right now, bro, <laughs> going into next generation. And Nintendo still got games releasing on their platform, not even in HD, running at 540p. And the cardinal sin, the absolute no compromise has been done. Frame rates in the 20s, bro. <laughs> you playing a slideshow, you play this game, bro. I tweeted this out on Twitter. I was talking, um, shout out to Super Metal Dave. I was saying, man, oh, make sure you follow me on Twitter if you want to be in our giveaway, monthly giveaway, $60 digital code for any platform of choice. Subscribe right here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. You in the giveaway. But, bro, I was talking to um, Super Metal Dave on, on Twitter, and I was telling him, bro, he was talking about how, how bad the specs are, um, how bad the game runs on the Switch. And I was like, man, when you when I, now when I buy a third party game on the Switch, it's like I'm gambling, bro. I don't know what I'm getting. Uh, and somebody said, well, just wait for the reviews, wait for the tech analysis. They don't do tech analysis on every game that comes to the Switch, on every third party game. And so I I just stopped buying third party games on the Switch, man. I just been burnt one too many times. And 
the icing on the cake is you, Nintendo has a no refund policy. So you buy a game. <coughs> I remember buying a game. It was missing online features. The game ran like garbage, like trash. I was like, man, I want my money back. Nintendo was like, sorry, brah. We don't care if you owe me one place and you got the most lit channel on YouTube. You still ain't getting your money back. Click. I was like, oh, no, they did it. No, they did it. <laughs> I stopped buying third-party games on the Switch, man. Um, I still get the first-party um, games. But third-party games, PlayStation, Xbox. It's just where I'm at, bro. Bro, this next news item. Kingdoms of Amalur is getting a remastered called the re re the re reckoning bro one of the best rpg games last generation two top two rpgs last generation was kingdoms of amalur and lost odyssey go and check out both those games lost odyssey epic game the story was fantastic from beginning to end epicness on the xbox 360 and kingdoms of amalur Bro, this game has some of the best action combat you will ever see in an RPG. It was a shame that the studio who made the game, there was a whole controversy with it. They weren't able to play their employees. They ended up shutting down the game. But the game is being revived, revived, revived. And saying a listing, this is coming from Polygon.com. A listing for the remaster dubbed Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning appeared Wednesday on the Microsoft Store. The leak was later confirmed on Twitter <coughs> in a post that added of all the game's downloadable content was being remastered as well. And so we will be getting a remaster for Kingdoms of Amalur. Dope, dope, dope game. I want to see. I'm still going through my backlog, though. Bro, check out my um, gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. I'm playing through Spider-Man, bro. Spider-Man is the best uh, um, best superhero game ever made. Don't at me. All right, and the last news item is a new patent for the DualSense was published today. And it sort of revealed what we already knew. <coughs> it shows more of the controller internals. Um, showing the microphone arrangement and headset info inputs. And I quote, this is coming from PlayStationLifestyle.net. Many input devices used for game operations have a plurality of operation members, such as an operation stick, a push button. This is coming directly from the patent. A cross direction key and a trigger button. Patent document one discloses an input device such as an operation member and having a voice input function. This input device has a microphone array composed of a plurality of microphones. In patent document one, adaptive beamforming processing is executed for a user's uttered voice by using voice data obtained from a plurality of microphones. Bro, it seems like we may not need a headphone jack where we can talk directly through the mic and maybe um, listen to the response through the mic. That would be dope, bro. Just imagine headless gameplay. I'll be here for that. All right, dudes, that's all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. That's my son trying to get in. Sorry, doors lock. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to 
join patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.